Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the ToyHacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is Transformers Netflix War for Cybertron Trilogy Sparkless Bot. I got this bot here as a gift from subscriber Brad Baluta, who hooked me up once again with a bot that I can't seem to find in my store. So Brad, thank you very much. Now let's take a quick look at the packaging first off. You've got the Sparkless Bot, which is a repaint of Siege Barricade in this rust collar. So I think I'm going to call him rusty so we got transformers netflix war for cybertron trilogy side of the box you've got some art of the sparkless bot here and you got rusty in robot mode vehicle mode and side of the box is the netflix artwork and i believe that is the kingdom artwork so pretty cool can't wait to open him up and check him out but before we tear into the packaging for this bot i want to show you some other things i got today my little brother hooked me up. He found a Dreadwind for me at a local toy store near where he lives. Now, I have a Dreadwind in my collection, but his little Power Master tabs are broke off right there on the side. So this one has them in great shape, but he has a bad stress mark there on the tail fin where the one I own does not. So I'm just going to Frankenstein the two together and make a complete solid dreadwind so looking forward to doing that and my brother also got me this this little read-along book which is actually surprisingly in really good shape and includes the 45 so if i had a record player i could actually go along with that so that is really cool i haven't seen one of those in years so enough of my mail haul let's get this bot out of the package and check him out and welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. Now, once you get Rusty all opened up and out of his packaging, you see he does come with a sheet of instructions that, as usual, are very well illustrated and very easy to follow. But considering this is a Siege Dotson Brother mold, you guys should know how to transform him. He also comes with two weapons. These are his shoulder mounted cannons, or you can put them together like so for a handheld weapon. He also comes with a light bar that is cast in a translucent brown. So let's go ahead. We'll put that on his back right there because you can attach that and don't really have to worry about it again. And let's take the weapons. And we'll go ahead and put those up here on his shoulders. Just like so. And there we have the sparkless bot all armed and ready for battle. Now, as I said earlier, this is a repaint of Siege Barricade, who is also a repaint of Siege Smokescreen. Now, keep in mind, both my smokescreen and barricade have been enhanced thanks to Toy Hacks decals, but you see the similarities. Now, the big difference with this guy, of course, is the paint scheme. And the paint scheme on him looks really, really good. It looks 
like real rust. And surprising, he's got purple eyes. I didn't even notice that in the online images when he was first announced. I didn't really think he looked that good, but getting him in hand, he actually looks pretty sweet. I really dig this paint job. He looks old and decayed and rusted, just like he did in the Netflix show. So let's see, compare him here to Barricade. Bump the ring light there. But as you can see, just the paint applications is the big difference. All the molded detail is the same, but it seems to pop a lot more on this rusted collar than, let's see, the black on smoke screen here or the purple on barricade. Well, the purple, that stands out pretty good, but I'm really impressed how much the details really pop on this rusted paint scheme. It just looks really cool. Of course, he does have the issue of having translucent shins, and they're that brown translucent plastic again. So it doesn't look too bad since it is a darker collar. He is gray right there on the toes, same gray here on the arms, the shoulders. Well, I think actually, yeah, the shoulders are a little darker gray. But you can tell that's what the color of the whole figure is because we've got that same gray behind the wings. So that is pretty much it for robot mode. Of course, the articulation, articulation is the exact same as his Siege counterparts. So now let's get the Sparkless Bot transformed into vehicle mode. My first thought when I saw Rusty here in vehicle mode is that he looks just like an old Hot Wheels car that you would find buried in the dirt in your yard that you forgot about from a few years earlier. I mean, the rust carries over great. He looks dirty, patinaed, and I mean, it really works. Hasbro has really impressed me with this paint scheme. This looks so cool. I don't even mind the translucent canopy, which usually ticks me off, but with him, you really can't see any of the robot junk hiding inside. Now, the light bar does kind of blend in a little bit, but that's okay because the whole figure just, it works. This works with this character. I I love it. I think this is awesome. And if you want to compare Rusty here to Siege Barricade once again, and as I said, Toy Hex decals on Barricade, I mean, they, they look awesome together. I dig it. Now, one thing I do wish that they fixed with this mold is these blasted translucent wheels, but I guess he's a Cybertronian vehicle. They have translucent wheels on Cybertron. Maybe a little paint applications there for the lights and maybe a little something here on the back would help. But other than that, I really dig this character or this figure mainly just because of that paint scheme. Now, of course, you can take the weapons and position the weapons here on the front of the vehicle. Kind of has that James Bond machine gun look. Or you can peg the two weapons together and peg them right on top of the light bar, like so. So there you go, guys. There is Rusty, the sparkless bot, in vehicle mode. And now for some quick size comparisons, here's the Netflix Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy sparkless bot with Netflix Megatron, Siege Shockwave, and once again with Siege Barricade. The Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy Netflix Sparkless Bot really impressed me. I originally had no desire to get this figure. Then he was gifted to me by my friend Brad, and I was really impressed with the guy. Of course, I like this mold anyway, but the paint scheme really knocks this one out of the park. He looks rusted for real, and it's actually a really cool looking figure to have on your display. So there you go, guys. The Transformers Netflix War for Cybertron Trilogy Sparkless Bot, a.k.a. Rusty. So, does a Netflix Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy Sparkless Bot, or Rusty, belong in your collection? Well, this one is for the Army Builders. Those of you who love to collect multiple bots just so you can have this army of soldiers for your collection, or in his case, an army of zombies. So if you're into that, I think you're really going to dig this figure. 
I love the paint scheme. I can't get over how much that actually looks like rust. As I said in the review, he looks just like you dug him up out of your yard after he's, after he's been sitting in there buried for a few years. So yeah, if you're into that and you see this bot on the shelf, pick him up. You're not going to be disappointed. And I want to give a big shout out once again to my buddy Brad, who hooked me up with this guy. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!